Hello Pisces. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. And also please excuse the makeup that's on my hand. <laughs> Universe is the current energy between Pisces and the person that's on Pisces' mind. Eight of Cups. Okay. So the current energy, Eight of Cups, leaving. Okay. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Pisces' mind would like to say to Pisces, Four of Cups. So they would like to say that they feel rejected, okay, because of you leaving. Universe of person that's on Pisces mind. Why are they keeping hidden from Pisces? Yeah, they're feeling emotional. Um, they're feeling emotional and I see that they are acting emotional too. But let's see what else I'm getting. Universe of person that's, ooh, whoa, that card just fly. <laughs> um, let's see what card that is. Let's see. I believe that's the three of pentacles. So that's the three of pentacles. Um, and this is supposed to be, I didn't finish asking the question, but what do you like to, um, how do they feel about you? But let me get another card. So this person still want to be in a relationship with you. Universal person that's on Pisces mind. How do they feel about Pisces? Okay. They also feel like you're like, they feel like you're not actually going to leave permanently, okay? They feel like probably this is a short-term thing um, to teach them a lesson. Universe, the person that's on Pisces mind, what is their true feelings for Pisces? They would like for this to work out. I feel like they are feeling sad that you guys are not cohesive talking in a relationship again, okay? Um, and let's just say you had enough, like you not coming back at all. This is, they're going to feel this even more intensely. Okay, this Five of Cups energy. Universal person that's on Pisces line. What is their intentions with Pisces? King of Wands. So they want to be, again, I feel like they're going to be doing a lot of actions. Okay. They, um, they true intentions is showing you that they can be a man of their word, um, a woman of their word. Okay. Universal person that's on Pisces mind. What actions will they take? Yeah, so I feel like they're trying to be more honest. Because Seven of Cups is confusion, illusion, okay? A lot of options. And then the Ace of Swords being honest, okay? This is your energy too, Pisces. And then I got a star. Yeah, so I do see them going the extra mile, being more honest, okay? But probably a lot of you guys had enough, okay? With the Eight of Cups being that current energy. Um, this person's sign could be a fellow water sign. So a fellow Pisces or a Cancer or a, I want to say Gemini for some reason, but that's air okay but uh pisces cancer scorpio there's aquarius okay there's some fire as well okay, let's look at the other deck Universe, give me a four card spider. Must just see you have four Pisces, Emperor, Fire, Mirror Fag. Okay, don't focus on monetary issues, focus on spirit, high priestess, your energy. Argue for your limitation, get to keep them. That's like, I feel like this was you giving them an ultimatum. Also, this is your just your standards, your boundaries, two of cups, general energy, the lovers. Yeah, I feel like they have a lot of emotions for you. I feel like they either was in love or they was falling for you, okay? But this is someone who kind of think, um, you know, they had honcho, they can be with this and this, this and that person, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone who's willing to let go, whoever they was also dealing with at the same time. But a lot of you guys probably feel like the damage is done, okay? So let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a third card spread of messages that you have for Pisces. Success. Universe, give me, oh, these cards keep flying. Okay, success, honesty, empathy. And 
I think this is relationship card. Yep, relationship and judgment. Okay, so I feel like what I'm trying to say is just, I feel like there is going to be a su successful relationship for you. Some of you guys is going to be with someone completely different than you. Some of you guys, it could be with this person, okay, because I do got the judgment here. I see what this judgment is about. You guys clarify judgment. Doubt, service, and discipline. Okay, some of you guys, yeah, so I feel like it's what I'm trying to say is really up to you. Um, because some of you guys, you just want them to learn a lesson, and I feel like they will. But you know just the time is not right. They, You know that it's going to take time for them to evolve and, you know, be their better self, basically, okay? And then some of you guys feel like <laughs> there's no going back, <laughs> okay? And I do see them being a successful relationship where it's based on clear communication, healthy communication, honesty, okay? Let's look at what this person would like to say. universe the person that's on i want to say scorpio so this could be a scorpio or they have strong scorpio placements universe the person that's on pisces line we would like to say to pisces humor yeah they was not taking this relationship too serious or it was not being honest again like to joke about things pride a lot of ego health friendship gratitude yeah they probably had someone that was like their f buddy basically they want you to forgive them Okay, let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. Okay. Let's look at the start. The universe, give me a four card spread. So there is spiritual strength, there's cell emotion, there's balance. Universe, give me one more card. There's shadow, general energy. It's waiting game, okay? So, waiting game. Yeah, so this person's still going to be waiting for you because they still want to balance. I've, usually, shadow for me represent karmic energy, but I feel like this is them feeling like you guys are meant to be. Like, you guys are actually each other true soulmate, and they're willing to be patient. Some, again, some of you guys might feel the same way, too. It's like you're not, being, you're not waiting for this person to change, but... Um, you know, you probably still, you know, you still feel like there's still something there, but you're not going to be waiting for them. You're going to be like just living your life, doing you. So let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a four card spread. I'm not suggesting you have okay, that one card. <laughs> that was another blank card. Okay. So mother. Okay. And happy belated Mother's Day if you're watching this as well. If you're a mother, any type of mother, <laughs> or you just um, have this maternal energy. Okay, athlete, Samaritan, student, and goddess. Yeah, so a lot of you guys, again, I, I'm getting 50-50. Some of you guys might still keep that door open for them, but you're going to be li like doing what's best for you, living your best life. And then some of you guys, the other half, you're just going to break free. And here's how I'm about breaking free, Okay. Um, being aligned to what's actually the best for you, okay? Because it's someone who could have been for everybody. They didn't really learn their lesson, and now they're learning, but it might be too late. Okay, let's look at the stack. You know, friends, give me a four card spread of messages you have for Pisces. So there is look for a sign. No. Get more information. And yes. <laughs> okay. So it's for those who still keep that door open, you just feel like the timing's not right. They need to improve. And right now you feel like they don't they haven't really completely did a 180. Okay. Jenna energy is a year from now, yeah. So probably a year from now they will be different. Okay. Okay, let's look here. Okay, universe, give me a oh, okay. So friendship. It keeps on about a friendship. With the other deck too 
Okay. Yeah, so probably this person, again, was not being honest with somebody who supposedly was their friend. Or probably you guys was like, had a really great relationship, but they was not being honest. Okay. Um, they start changing, start acting up. Okay. Inner, um, inner will spring and then inner wakefulness. Okay. So there is, I'm completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. Then there's friendship. I'm deeply grateful for the gift of friends. My appreciation for, um, for them is endless. So I feel like this is you connecting with your friends. Okay. It's going to be like, it's going to help you move forward and move on. Okay. And if you are on a break, it's just going to make you just feel like you're living your life. You're not waiting on them. Okay. Inner wellspring. I have an inner wellspring of love, literacy, overflows with abundance. Okay. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.